Two weeks have passed since we spoke to human rights lawyer M. Ravi on the progress of assistance to Singaporean as Linda, who has been sentenced to death by a court in China for trafficking in drugs. M. Ravi has fresh updates on how Aslinda is doing. The current state of Aslinda is that we managed to get uh, pro bono lawyers for her and her lawyer is uh, in Shanghai itself and, um, and there's another lawyer from Hong Kong who is closely working with him and both of them don't want their names to be disclosed and they would like to work anonymously at this moment given the sensitivities. And um, we are not able to get much um, a response from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs on our side. The ministry's position, from what I understand from Aslinda's daughter, is that they prefer to speak to the family directly. And um, in relation to the status of a legal representation, we are having one problem because there are a lot of documents which the consular from Singapore needs to assist in so that uh, Aslinda's lawyers can actually uh, visit Aslinda in prison and I understand that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is trying to get the consular in uh, China to facilitate this uh, but because the delay is occasioned as a result of Covid uh, problems. City as Linda bin Junaidi and her boyfriend Modiusri bin Modiusov were arrested in Shenzhen, China in October 2015 for drug trafficking. The pair had been stopped by customs officials. A search of the luggage revealed 28 women's handbags containing more than 11 kilograms, 24 pounds, of methamphetamines, stitched into the lining. The drugs were worth about S. $292,000. However, both denied any knowledge of the drugs. Now, first of all, um, I think the whole panic situation, I mean, any one of us would be very panic-stricken if our family member, um, his dis appeal has been dismissed or one is sentenced to death, especially in a foreign country where the family members have not even seen her for about five years. And all they could rely on is the information from Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And you must also understand that it is Aslinda's 17-year-old daughter who reached out to me. So from what they understood is that everything has ended, the appeals that, 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 that basically the sentence, she has been sentenced to death and she'll be shot. So, and that was the indication that was given to me. But given um, our in, uh, further intervention and further clarification, um, now that there is also the prospect of getting a case reviewed before the Chinese higher courts, um, so at least, um, you know, that, that is not the situation right now. We asked Mr. Ravi on the current status of her case. So basically, she has two recourses. One is... Uh, uh, her case can be reviewed by the court in Guangdong and um, after that review she has another opportunity before the Supreme Court of China to review the case as well. Uh, at the moment you know all the anxiety of she being shot is now at least uh, that bit of it is um, now allayed and uh, we hope that um, our team uh, we are working very very closely uh, we can get all the materials soon. We can, sh the lawyers can meet Azlinda soonest with the support and cooperation of the consular officer in China, um, Singapore cons consular officer in China. You're watching the Independent Singapore. Subscribe to our channel for more breaking news and documentaries.